Hey guys, uh, it's Nigel over here in Fukuoka, Japan. Um, today, I'm going to show the benefits of using a heating mat versus not using a heating mat. Uh, currently, it is January. Uh, we're going between zero degrees and roughly 15 during the day, so it's pretty cold. Um, now, the conversion rates, I do have that here on my desk. I always leave them here. Uh, from Celsius to Fahrenheit so basically we'd be looking at about oh what is it it's about 20 no no sorry sorry my bad that would be about 32 degrees up to about 55 so it's pretty cold um, to be actually growing seeds outdoors um, probably around March or so maybe even late March I'll be able to start planting seeds directly into the ground. Um, I will be doing chilies pretty soon so this is my first sort of test to see the benefits of using a heat mat. Now over here I just have a really simple um, dog pet heating source mat thing just below there. So I'll get a little light here and uh, what I've done is uh, created a little box for the top and this is actually a toaster, uh, what is this, it's a toaster sort of thing that you put your your toaster on there and then you can put your different things underneath it. Um, this is just some of that Mylor uh, type material that reflects the, uh, reflects the uh, heat so it stays nice and warm inside there. Um, currently it's at about 30 degrees. Um, 30 degrees is pretty warm. And I'll tell you, that's around 86 degrees. So it's uh, really warm inside here. Now this one has been here for roughly a week. And as you can see, there's lots of condensation on the top. Um, and we're gonna open it up and see the difference between not using a heat source at all versus using a heat source. And uh, this is just some parsley that I threw in in an old uh, Udon box. If you don't know what Udon is, it's basically a, a noodles. So I got some noodle, uh, like an old noodle box, and I thought, well, let's put some uh, parsley seeds in there. Okay, so today what I'm going to do is open up the box, let's see what happens, and then we're going to eventually transplant those into a little uh, dish that I'm going to be using later on. All right, let's get back to part two. Of this okay, um, these are my basil seeds that I plucked from last year. Um, these were roughly, how do you say, about three or four plants. And uh, those three or four plants, I basically had them dried out and they flowered and I picked all the seeds. So this is my first test. Um, these were planted about a week ago. So let's open up the first one here. This is the no heat one. Um, I have not rewatered this once. So this is the same water from a week ago. Oh wow, look at that. I'm gonna try to get a close up here. Oh, we actually do have some seedlings that have produced. Um, it's really white and sort of fungus looking. So I'm not too sure if that's good. Um, the biggest one I have, nah, I got one, that's about it. Just this little one, I don't know how close I can, how, how close you can see it. Let me see here, I'll try to get my iPhone to pick it up. Okay, there you go. That's the biggest one I have. It's just a little, little white one, okay? So not too many. All right, let's put that back. All right, next one is using heat. All right, so here we go. Let's open it up. Oh, I can see already lots of green. There we go, here we go, here we go. Oh wow, look at this. Not even the same. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna try to open this up. So I can show everybody. Okay, here we go. Look at that. I've actually got what do you call green fingerlings. You can actually see them coming out of the paper. These things are ready to be transplanted. Look at that. I have seedlings everywhere producing green little tails. <laughs> and it's January and I'm growing, growing full on basil. <laughs> All right. I think we could say that using a heat mat is the bomb. <laughs> All right. I've got some work to do. I've got to start transplanting these into my little, uh, 
uh, next stage, uh, what do you call it? the next stage basically. So I'm going to do that in the next few minutes here and start to transplant these into here. All right. Okay, I have um, taken those seedlings that were in the uh, paper towel and uh, I've uh, got my potting soil here um, and I've also mixed in some worm castings, um, mixed in about one cup or so. And uh, what I'm going to do is put this back on the heating, uh, the heating mat for another maybe week or so and uh, give them a little bit more heat. And then when they get nice and big, I'm going to transfer the, them to these three inch net cups as per Larry Hall's recommendation. And uh, that's about it. I'm very happy. I cannot wait to start doing this in the month of February where I'll be doing chilies and tomatoes and all sorts of different things like that in the uh, sort of doldrums of winter. All right, so here we go. Let's, uh, let's go get this uh, set up. Go put this back on the heating lamp, heating mat, sorry. And uh, let's just get my, uh... oh, there it is. It's just down here. Sorry, guys. Get our little cover. There's our cover. Sorry about that, guys. And uh, put our cover back on there. And uh, we're going to cook them for a little bit more. Give them a little more heat. They do get quite a bit of light here during the day. And they actually will head towards the light source. And then eventually, this will become my um, incubator uh, where I'll actually have a grow light just hanging inside this greenhouse. And uh, I'll start actually putting lights in here for them to uh, grow up towards. And then uh, the idea is eventually I'll move this greenhouse outside in the spring and I'll have this full of seedlings from anything from <laughs> corn to, you know, pe uh, tomatoes and peppers and all sorts of different things. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys that's what I've been up to in the gardening world. I'm very happy and uh, it's going to be a great gardening year. I'm going to be producing lots and lots of different things. And uh, just behind here, I've got this awesome deck. Um, and that's going to turn into a whole entire rain gutter grow system all the way down the uh, end of this deck. I'm going to have about 15 new pots. So I'm going to get busy. Got to get ready. All right, guys. Thanks very much. And uh, thanks for watching. And talk to you later. Bye.